So today we're going to talk about whether or not uh, EK Cryofuel is the best coolant for your computer. And I've only had a water-cooled computer for about a year and a half now, and this is really the only one I've tried, so I can't really tell you if it's the best or not. All I can tell you is how it's worked out for me. About three months ago I changed the fluid in my computer and took all my parts apart, and this video behind will show you um, what the consequence of having this in my computer running my computer 16 hours a day every day for about 13 months is about when I changed it. So you can decide for yourself whether or not you think it's a good fluid. I've certainly had no problems with it and will continue using it. Um, the other reason I looked was because I had never tried anything else and I thought when it was time to change that I should see if there's a brand that's better than what I am currently using. But it doesn't seem so. So I'll let you watch the video and you can decide, sorry that it's a bit uh, shaky, but uh, you can freeze any spot in it and see whether or not um, the um, fuel clogged up any of the veins or um, did any other damage. So I'll leave you to it. Well, the tubes seem to be okay. Mostly it was just uh, the graphics card and the water block, well, and the reservoir too. And the fluid was filled right up to the top line here where you wouldn't be able to see the top edge of it. Well, that's about everything. Okay, here we have the water block part. Let's shake it here. for stain, just mostly stain, not a lot of crud. The damn camera would zoom in, yeah, a little bit down in there. O-ring looks okay. And here's the bottom plate. A little bit of scum on it. And there's the fins. Uh, they're not real bad, but a little bit of scum in there too. So I hold the damn camera straight. There's still, there we go. A bit of focus. Well, that's what that looks like. Things up right there. 
up the seal in there. See a little bit of green algae scum around the edges. See a little better this way. See the green in there. Goes there. around where the seal was and where some salts are. All the seals out now, which looks in good shape. And there's a little bit of uh, staining to the plastic and some algae around the sealing edge there. You can, you can see if the camera would focus on that. On camera. You can see it around from this side too. And here's the graphics block taken apart. Uh, fin's got some residue on them. And some blotchy staining. Mm -hmm. A little bit of build up here and there. Quite a bit right there. Now that the uh, block is clean, you can see a few spots where the nickel plating is starting to wear off. Right down uh, here, you can see that this camera is not very good, and all along here. Nope, it's not going to zoom in there. It's pretty bright, I'm under spotlights here, so... Uh, all that blue I see on the camera, I don't really see in reality there, but oh, I can see some more of the copper missing there down by the blue spots. But all in all, um, this is an EK water block, uh, water block, graphics card block. All the parts for this were EK, and they all came from EK, including the fluid. Oh, we're all back up and running again stuff. It's quite blue. Still checking for leaks with the pump running. Oh, well, that's it. Uh, going to be my review for EK Cryofuel.